Hey guys, welcome to Kai's Chaos, where I play games and, well, the games play. Um. Okay, bro, look at this. And they just said it's an indie team, a small indie team. Do you see this? I just love game developers, bro. Like, like, don't let Nintendo reach out to me. Oh, boy. The game takes account of all your actions, including the ones you decide not to take. These choices will determine your fate and the fates of others around you. Period. Proceed with caution. Proceed. Service de police, Montreal, Montreal. Okay, period. Come on now, miss. Let's keep moving. I want to look at stuff. You're just making me rush through. Wait, like, can I get a right. synop? Here. No, I'm using the charge of the second and first. So each maid has her assigned for it. Yes, that's it. Oh, witness. Having a drink. Oh, okay, it's right here. Here we are. Okay. Good luck. Oh, thank you, sir. Saya. All right. So we are in questioning with the police Long right now for what? I don't know. Sophie Roy, I'm Detective Maurice Tremblay. Tremblay. Let's see. More like Flambe. Oh. She's twenty-one. She let all the. To me, husband. She is not talking. Are you married? Is that no, relevant? Not yet. I, I guess it mother. is. I guess it is. She's sick, so I have to take care of her. No father. No, it's always just been me and my mom. All right, Miss Roy. She sounds. She. The boys are not sound. Tell face. me oh, everything that happened, starting with this morning. Oh, this is so good. Zoom in. Zoom into the yelp. The thought. Hey. Low birth games. Let's get it, y'all. I've been waiting to play this game for weeks. I've been waiting. But I was like, you know, I gotta save for Kai Tober. Hey, back, forth. Back, forth. What? Back can mean the same spot. Over and over. That's clean. Let's move on. This bed. Hey. Yeah, switch that off because it might be copyright. Low key. Let's make the bed. Okay. <sighs> Nothing like up. a well made bed. Put that back. Clean. Wow. Freaking love this already. Uh, I've been waiting for so long. Um, Are we done? Good enough. Yeah. She said good enough. You know what? You're right. Do what you do. For the pay that you get. I don't know what I just said. Um, yeah. Ooh, what's this? Inspect. That's you know a me. lot of money to owe. Just what did you get yourself involved in? Oh, she basically just told you the letter said. Okay, spoiler. $8,000 plus 25% interest is now eight months overdue. What's the math on that? Carry the eight and then put the two, then plus two divided by two. And yeah, you get it like a million dollars. That's crazy, bro. You're a million dollars in debt. Couldn't be me. Okay, let's see. Like, not her being nosy. This is what I'm scared of when I be going to hotels. Like, that's why I don't really like. I don't let maids go in the room I'm in, bro. Don't be nosy, bro. I like my privacy. Dear Mr. and Mrs. Maple's son, we're grateful as we regretful as we are to have resort to these lines of communication. Our client and your neighbor, the owner of that place, has been ultimately evasive of our many attempts to reach out and collect our due debts. Specifically, an amount owed to us is a sum of $1,904. He has given us little resources but to contact him through those in close physical proximity to him in the hopes that we can deliver a message on our behalf. We have little desire to disturb you and the other fine citizens of 32nd Street, but our business may bring us back to your neighborhood if it's not resolved quickly. So, dang, bro. Lone Sharks is after him. He owed money to his friend. 
Why you put that mirror down? Clean. Put away. All right. Um, we going okay. Don't close this. Oh, okay. It's snowing out here. Where are we at? Does anybody know? Let's see. Inspect. She is nosy. <laughs> Acknowledgement of debt. So this is basically saying that he acknowledges the debt that he owes. Initial amount of fifteen hundred. Amount overdue thirty five hundred. What's that equal? Five thousand. Dang, bro, you owe money, money. You better start selling them clothes in there. Cause boy, you owe money. This is back in the day too. See, nowadays five thousand dollars might not seem a lot to some people. It's a lot to me, and I would appreciate if I get five thousand dollars. But you know, I don't. Oh yeah, they put one of these in every um, hotel room. Actually, I've only seen it one time, and I've seen it multiple. Seen better days, but you're obviously still important to someone. I thought that away. Dad has AIDS. I'm convinced. Okay. Yeah, that's this is it. This is it, bro. We're done. Oh, wait, let's open these. <laughs> Look at that. Alright, guys. I think we've done pretty much everything that we need to do. If you got a problem, he can kiss my booty. Alright. Hey, this game's so good. I want this to be the first video of Kaitober, but. I was I had to start off October with a spooky spooky. Like this is like scary, but it's not like spooky. It's more like a thriller. Yes. That's weird. Man, house space, they be seeing stuff. <laughs> Sorry guys, I love things like this, bro. Me out. Imagine all the weirdos who'll start hanging around the hotel. <laughs> I can oh, think of wow. someone who'll feel right at home. Look at her, always glued to that gossip. Bro, hop off! Do you think she has any real friends, or is it just Gracie, Joan, and Marilyn? Well, when your own life is that dull, you need to get your excitement somewhere. <laughs> How does that make me crazy, idiot? <laughs> oh, did you see? That's why I work in the same job, morning? and that's why your husband left you. That's why your husband cheated on you. That's why your kids don't want to live with you no more. <laughs> Sorry. This is exactly the kind of behavior Linda warned me about. <laughs> He's doing everything he can to break us apart. She's a homewrecker. Sophie speaking. Hey, it's Beth. Do you think you could come up real quick? Um, sure. I'll be right there. You're right, you didn't. Now I realize I didn't want. I was so in love with you that I didn't see you. Was? Was. You heard that? Yo, that's why don't be a homebreaker, uh, homebreaker. Because if he is willing to cheat on his girl with you, oh, can you hear her thoughts? If he's willing to cheat on a girl with you, bro, he gonna cheat on, he gonna cheat on you sooner or later. And he always gonna go back to his wife, so it does not matter. Let's see what Beth wanted to talk about. Okay. Mm. Now's not the time to pick up smoking, Sophie. Oh, that's what that is? Yeah, we don't do that. My bad. Tempting, My bad. but every penny adds up, Sophie. You're right, girl. Save your money. I don't know what you say. Where are your girl at? Uh, is that blood? Oh, child, don't do that. <laughs> girl, I think Beth is a receptionist. Okay, I figured. Hey, Beth. Can I just say to the developers y'all ate? I just want to say that. I don't know if I said that before. Hey there. So, who's sleeping? Sleep what? You were whispering just now on the phone. So I thought maybe Eugene or Bobby were napping in the break room again. Oh, no, yeah, no. It's Jack and Wendy. They were, um, in the middle of something. Ugh, it's so awkward when they start making out like no one's watching. Get a room. We literally work in a hotel. Um, all right, we could be messy, but my mama always told me don't be messy. Stay out people business. They weren't kissing. I tried to ignore them. Let's just do you said you, said you me. needed me. Yeah. Oh, that's they business. Straight bro. to business then. Sorry, it's just a busy day. I get it. It's been non-stop for me this morning too. Yeah, I'm here to Want to guess my why check. I summoned you here? So that's it. Want to guess something to clean? I'm guessing there's something I have to clean. Obviously, but what is it? Uh, did 
Did a kid throw up again? God, no. Did that happen recently? Yeah, last week. I can still smell it. Feel it, too. While I was cleaning, some of it got- uh, I'm gonna uh, stop you right there. Yeah. Keep talking and much. you'll be cleaning up after me, too. Oh, God. Oh. Sorry. Yeah, no, you'll be glad to know it's nothing gross this time. A nice gentleman decided it was time to redesign the lobby and helped us by knocking over that vase on his way out of the hotel. Wow, this is That's it? I would do it myself, but the last time I tried to leave the front desk, Bernard emerged from his lair to scold me about procedures and whatnot. Well, okay. we can't have the beauty of the Clarington Hotel take absence from her throne, can we? Oh, the people would riot. Bernard especially. She is not looking well. <laughs> Bernard's hardly the people. She looks like anyway, 27. I have to get back to work. There's a mop in the supply closet next to Bernard's office, I think. Thanks. I'll see you around. Press E to open her journal. All right. No, literally, I love meeting people who can literally make a conversation. Not the people who, like, I'm a listener, yeah, but like, I also don't like being with somebody who's like always talking and never lets me speak. Like, I, I'm like, okay, like, what am I, your therapist? <laughs> but a person who's able to converse with you and they're waiting for feedback and they are like able to build on what you said previously, like, I, amazing. Because I know I, I can't do it. I can't do it. Sometimes I'm convinced the hotel is haunted. It's not that I believe in ghosts normally, but there have been too many incidents for me to rule out the possibility completely. Just this morning, I was waiting for the elevator on the fifth floor and I heard a loud bang behind me, like someone shutting a door, but with more force than I've ever heard a person use. I looked around, but there was no one to be seen. Am I just imagining things? Ooh, Linda got to Jack's head and convinced him that Wendy was flirting with some bright guests. Oh, so they were not, they were not having an affair. Oh, my bad, Wendy and Jacques, Jacques Wes. I was really putting y'all through the mud. <laughs> All right, let's learn about our colleagues. Bernard, he's a manager. Uh, he spends most of his days locked in his office and doesn't like the maids roaming around outside their post. Da, da, da. Lately, he's on getting the hotel back in shape, whatever that means. Okay, Linda, who Linda? That's what you look, okay. Second in command. And it's easy to see why she rules over the maze with the iron fist. Um, the same, she's the one who was spreading rumors about Wendy. Um, but my feelings have been more mixed for whatever. She seems to have a soft spot for me. Uh, it's like she's made it her life's mission to break up Wendy and Jacquez's relationship. I'm worried that her latest efforts may have succeeded. Yo, she messy. Uh, Wendy's a waitress at the hotel. She blonde, okay. She and her best friend, Yvette, were hired together. So they tell me her and her best friend, Yvette, they were hired together. They're besties, like, besties for the resties. And then she saw Jane Jack West, the mysterious boy, down the hall. And then they get engaged. But that whole time they were dating, she did not talk to Yvette. She wanted them. Go ahead and marry your little boy. And then when he cheat on you later after you had three kids, and you have to sit there and deal with it because this is back in the day, and you know, women really can't do nothing about that, you're going to really get stupid because you have nobody to rant to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, she, they said she's nice, but I don't know. Somebody who drops their friend for a man, I don't know. Jacquez looks sneaky. Uh uh. Let's see. He's a bellboy. Uh, he's like a completely different person around and He lights up a laugh and even crack jokes. So he really likes Wendy, bro. But why would Wendy really dump her friend for that? Unless. Unless. Yvette was being a little weird her mom doesn't talk to her oh her dad left you two years old wow okay exit if only we were allowed in there girl felt all right linda Wendy. wendy's great at her job guests absolutely love her and huh, not just guests apparently oh god damn it linda i only like her because guests like her Making sure guests oh. are happy is my job, after all. You don't seem to care whether she I'm She loved happy. gossip. <sighs> Listen, if Wendy wasn't doing her job, that'd be another story, but I can't just fire her without good reason. What if she stirred up trouble among the staff? 
Would that be a good reason? Curiosity killed the cat. Oh, Andrew, hi. I, I was, I mean, I'm sorry, I was just... Spying on our manager? No, I, I heard cat. something, and I... Hey, hey, hey. It's okay, I'm just pulling your leg. I'm... I just played I'm it sorry again. I scared you. I'm just... Curiosity killed the cat. I, I'm not hmm. used to having... Kai, I want to see you, I know what to do. Yeah, you're you see always later, working though. alone up there, aren't you? I actually think it's the first time I've seen you down in the lobby. Don't tell me you've been sent to clean up after the Valentine's Day ball. Um... Were, you, were you here Friday night to see the whole thing? Yeah. They had someone in charge of the event, but she ended up crying alone in the stairwell, so I had to take over. What What's happened? Up? Did it really go so wrong? It certainly didn't go wrong for the people enjoying the party, but for those sober around them, that's another story. Okay. Good God. I'm glad I didn't have to be there. I don't know how you do it. And I don't know how you handle cleaning up after other people all day. You must see plenty of weird stuff, right? Yeah. Yes. What's the weirdest thing you found in a guest room? <laughs> something about you. Something very odd, something gross. Huh? Um, let's say odd. Mm, a few months ago, I found stacks of pennies in a room's toilet. Okay, like, that's nasty. a lot of them. Stacks? Uh, <laughs> what? I can see there are thrown in there, and when stacks? I got to the bed, the pillowcases were filled with pennies as well. I'm still not sure if that guest simply had a strange way of leaving a tip. Maybe it was a penny robbery. Oh. Y'all, put in the comments, I, uh, what was I the weirdest thing that it's you've here done in a hotel? Somewhere. It's okay. Oh, I wait. need to... You'd be exposed then, huh? Um... Yeah. yeah Let's right. just say... Take care. You too. Put in the comments what's the weirdest thing that you've seen in a hotel. How about that? Yeah. Because, you know, we're not trying to expose ourselves. I don't. Make sure the hotel All right, let's hear your thoughts. Okay, let's get that mop from the supply closet. Let's do E. Andrew. Who is Andrew? Do we like him? Because, you know, I was never really into redheads, but Andrew looked kind of cute. <laughs> Andrew's a concierge and receptionist, he's intelligent. Professional, kind, well manner, which easily makes him Bernard's favorite. Whenever I see him, he's either dashing off on his latest errand or buying himself a book. Oh my God, he likes books. Ah! Yeah, let me stop. When we do, though, it always feels easy, like talking with someone perfectly attuned to your wavelength. Maybe I should ask him for some book recommendations and ask for his number, and then we date for a month, then we get married. It would be nice to have more reasons to talk to him. Oh, she likes him. Oh yeah, she's feeling him. She want her some Andrew. <laughs> She won't. Andrew, Andrew. Thankfully, he didn't make a big deal of it, but he doesn't seem the kind to judge. What, Charlie? She wants some Andrew, boy. Alright. So, what I'm seeing is she loves gossip. But, I mean, back in the day, what else are you gonna do? Ain't no TV. Shoot. I don't blame her. But sometimes... Oh, let me go with that. Sometimes, being nosy gets you caught in some trouble. Andrew, where you at, Andrew, I'm honey? I'm really sorry about that. I'll have a word with our kitchen staff to make sure it doesn't... What happened, Andrew? Well... I love this game. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm freaking loving this game right now. Like, I'm so excited. And just to let you guys know, this game will be broken up in parts throughout Kaitober, so it won't a be back-to-back -back parts. The guest must have dropped it when he knocked over the vase. Probably should return it to him after we look through it. <laughs> but yes, it will be broken up in parts, so look out for that. So you might want to stay tuned. It will be broken up in parts throughout Kaitober, so it's going to be sporadic. Now I just put the leaves back in the vase, and it'll be like nothing ever happened. Period. Ew. There's something so peaceful about looking out at yes. a storm from the inside. I understand, Mr. She said Ramsey. from the inside. I, I say that all the time. I wish I could make the snowstorm disappear. I really do, but sadly, that's not within my power. Beth, who knocked over that vase? Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade. Well, I can check with the airport and let you know when flights resume. Why was she trying Until to talk then, to on the phone? Yes, yes, I know. You've said that already, but. Oh my no, god, I love this game. 
Very unlikely. So. All right, Mr. Spade. Which room are you staying in, Mr. Spade? Mr. Spade. I'll just speak to my manager if you'd like. What I'm room sure you'll are be you in? Thrilled to talk to you. Call to cancel, 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 cancel. Spade. Mm -hmm. Spade. Well, for that you'd have. I love the dialogue on the back. This yes. is. I freaking love this. Yes, certainly. Oh, here we go. Room five oh five. Great. That's on my floor. I can return that film roll without going out of my way. Period. Hold it, please. Anything for you, Drew. Andrew, are you okay? Yeah, it's just... <sighs> I slipped on the puddle by the restrooms. Oh, I'm sorry. <gasps> I, I probably should have cleaned that. Oh, no, no, it it's my fault. I should have asked Eugene to repair the leak. Which floor? Oh, uh, sixth. Thanks. <gasps> wow. They really did say it depends on the actions you take and the What's actions the you big do rush? not take. I need to bring I this to our VIP guest. Is that ice? The one who rented the entire floor. Oh, is it that British man I keep hearing about? Does he need a wife? <laughs> Rented the entire floor? All the girls complain about him. Why does he want snow? Why does yeah. he need a bucket full of snow? No idea. I don't even ask anymore. It's just the latest in a long series of strange requests. What do you reckon he'll do with it? Take a bath, maybe? <laughs> and that little thing is Sometimes snow? Sometimes I wonder right, if he's just pulling an elaborate prank on me. Rich people do that. Can you tell I don't me care. Who they is? do that. I've they just never actually met him. Can, I always talk to his weird, assistant. Weird Only Bernard knows his identity. Um. I do have a suspicion, though. Oh? But I'm I'm not sure I should say it. Can't you at least give me a hint? Hmm. Okay, let me think. Whew. Saved by the bell. Hey, come on. Don't leave me hanging. Let's just say I like to prolong the suspense. Oh, Wait. he wants to talk to you too. Is that the hint? Hmm. Who knows? <laughs> Fair enough. Have fun up there. You too. They both look older than what they are, but I can see where they're going. 505. I'm telling you, Drew likes me too. So, Drew, come on. Come through. Alright, what is this? Complete man. Okay, there's a. Does carrying this everywhere really make us better maids? Bernard seems to think so. Okay. So, yeah, we kind of failed that first room, but it's whatever. 19 arrested and deviant rant? Deviant? Bloody Valentine. Valentine's Day concluded in a horror last Friday with the murder of a resident. A worried neighbor called the authorities after hearing loud shots. Dang. A 34-year-old man is dead. Okay. And that was on Valentine's Day, which was recently because they just had that Valentine's Day This must ball. have been so much fun. Yeah. Well, for the guests, at least. Yeah. Linda's been putting these everywhere lately. It's weird that Bernard allows it. I know, because you're just putting your political beliefs, saying no to divorce. Like, some people... Don't believe you should have we get divorced, but not everybody gonna believe the same way you do, bro. Calm down. Did I miss something in here? I should move on for now, but maybe I can come back later if I have a spare moment. Okay, let me just make sure I'm cleaning everything, bro, because not girl, don't you dare open that door. Yep. Mr. Spade. Mr. Spade? Don't walk in there, bro. Just look at the film and then return. <laughs> I'm surprised she didn't look at it. Look at all them film things, bro. And she wants to start touching stuff. Fingerprints? Do they not have to? Oh, I was about to say. Ooh, she gonna be tempted. See, I'll be tempted, but you see the color of my skin? I will leave so fast. <laughs> what is that? Man? Mm -hmm. 
gloves on? What is that? What? Tampering with objects may lead to positive or negative consequences. Okay, if we wait, he's getting evidence that we're snooping. We gotta get rid. Of, we gotta get rid of the evidence. We gotta get rid of the evidence. What is this? Girl, you know what that is. Okay, hold on. Maybe I should call Beth or Andrew. They'll they'll know what to do. I hope. Stay in the room. He seems to carry film rolls around. And he was such a rush to get somewhere today that he knocked over the base. Um, well, Sophie, I can't deny that I'm curious to know more. Well, Sophie asks, and you shall receive. Now I know Mr. Spade is a soccer and he's been stalking none other than me. I still can't believe those pictures of me in his bathroom are real. Well, guys, I will let you know my decision in the next episode of this bed we made. So stay tuned with Kai Tober, 31 Days of Terror with a sprinkle of chaos, and I will see you guys tomorrow for the next game. This is...